my goodness, it's opera singer Nikki Spence. Hey, Nikki, how's it going? Are you practicing any awesome new arias? Oh, Sarah, you know how it is right now. So many venues are closed. We really need something to cheer us up. Hey, what about that online season at Blackheath Halls? Oh, thank you for reminding me. It's going to be a musical extravaganza in the Digisphere. Oh, can I come to the party? I think it's amazing what you opera singers do. I so wish I could sing on stage. I've always imagined singing with you in some sort of lavish production. Oh, well, it would be great to have you. As long as you brought your opera frock. Hmm. It's the opera fairy. Well, that's probably the closest I'm ever going to get to singing opera on stage. I'm not a professional opera singer, but I am a professional author. My name is Sarah McIntyre and I write and illustrate books. And one of my dreams is that someday somebody might take one of my books and turn it into an opera. That would be so fabulous. Opera is all about imagination and the wonderful places it can take us. Let me take you over to my drawing desk and I'm going to teach you how to draw Unicorn from the Grumpy Corn books singing on stage. For this, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen, and possibly later some coloring supplies. So he's a real diva, he's gonna love this. Let's start by drawing some curtains on either side of the stage. This whole area is going to be the stage. So big curtains that go all the way from floor to ceiling. So a big long line. And then right at the bottom, do a kind of squiggly line. So boom, 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 like the sea, kind of like that. And then put some other lines just kind of coming up to show the folds of the curtain, like that. Okay, and then let's do curtains on the other side. So a long line coming all the way down and then squiggly line. And then lines coming up or down as you'd like. Okay, now these are parted to show us the stage. So we're going to draw a line right at the bottom to show the front of the stage all the way across. And now we're going to put our unicorn right in the middle of the stage because he's the star and he's singing a big old aria. First thing we do is we'll leave a little room for his legs. So we're going to draw a square right here. So a line like that. Another line like this. This is going to be his body. Then turn into a square and turn this into a square. And feel free to pause the video at any time if you want to get more time to draw. Okay, let's follow this line down. And it might curve slightly back. And this one, like that. And then we'll make his legs a little bit thicker. So each leg, like that, and that. And we'll cap it off with a hoof. So a line there, and a line there. And it's got very shiny hooves. So let's make a little window of, of shine there and color the rest in dark. So a little window of shine right there. Okay, now let's draw his head. So it comes up like this, and curves around like that. And then we're gonna draw the nose like that. And take this line a little bit further back like that and then down. Okay, and then we're going to draw the unicorn horn, which comes off right here. Then we're gonna do the shut eyes because he's focusing very hard in his song. Your unicorn might be a girl, mine's a boy, but it doesn't matter really. Okay, now let's put an ear, a line here, and another curved line there. And a line here, a slightly curved line. And we're going to show the inside of his ear. So we'll put a little line right there and a tiny one coming up like that. And give him some stripes on his horn. Okay, now some little knot nostrils. And he's singing, so let's give him a big mouth. So smile line and then another line with the mouth. 
And if you want, you can put his little teeth in there and then color the rest in dark. He's singing away. And let's do his mane. So this, you'll see the first line here. And the rest of it kind of comes like flower petals. It goes one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, no, he doesn't have any arms. Let's give him some arms. He's gonna be right up in the air, being dramatic as possible. So a line there, a line there, cap it off. Again, give him a shiny hoof. So a line like that, and color it in with a little window of shine. And here, another arm coming out. Two lines. And cap it with a hoof. Little window of shine. And there we have a basic unicorn shape, except he needs a tail. So do some more sort of flower petal type things coming off like that. It's got to kind of overlap a little bit. Maybe a few that stick out like that behind. Now he needs a costume. So how are you going to design the costume? Hmm, maybe he's got a collar that goes like, I don't know, how are you going to design the collar? Maybe like that. And maybe his stripes on his top. So I'm going to give him some stripes. And maybe he has some sleeves. I'm going to give him some sleeves. They might be puffy sleeves or dramatic cape kind of sleeves. Whatever you like to design for his costume. And maybe it's some leggings. I'm going to use a littler pen to do some stars on his leggings. Little details there. But you can design, they might be stripey, they might have swirls or, or um, any kind of pattern you like. There we go. And maybe some lines just coming off to show that he's really belting that aria out. So there you go, there's a basic unicorn on stage. Now the amazing thing about opera set design is that your unicorn can be anywhere that you imagine. In the first animation, I put a castle backdrop, but your unicorn might be in a space opera, or maybe at the beach, or possibly in a swamp full of dinosaurs, or a land full of sweets. It's your choice. So that is my challenge to you. Now you've drawn unicorn on the opera stage, Fill that stage with an incredible set. Go for it. For more interactive fun with folk who have really big voices, come and join us for more online adventures, creative socials, and Thursday evenings with me, Nikki Spence. For more details, visit blackheathhalls.com.